everybody, it's Holiday Branch here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, hey what's up? My name is Holiday Branch and I like to tell stories in this channel. Make sure to like, comment, and most importantly subscribe to my YouTube channel so y'all can get, you know, y'all free entertainment every single week. And here is another story time. Now, before I continue telling the story, sharing my thoughts and feelings regarding about this event that happened to my life i just want to make a quick disclaimer i don't want this video to be interpreted as me being resentful as me being petty i don't want you guys to think that i'm bashing the adult entertainment industry i just want to make this video because i want to express my thoughts and feelings i want to process of what happened this fucking summer i kind of want to give an explanation the reason why because like i had so many people support me um you know through my journey that like i feel like i just need to explain myself and most importantly i just want you for any person that's watching this video if you guys feel that you wait same situation that i was back then i hope this video helps you i hope this video helps you make a decision okay just, just you have to make that decision i don't need to tell you what to do but um but yeah like that's this video is just made for entertainment purposes only and that is it okay now if you guys have been following me on my instagram and if you haven't i highly suggest you do my instagram name is i am holiday branch now if you guys have been following me on my instagram then you guys already know that holiday branch is no longer a dancer anymore and it's kind of like really big news to like all of you guys my youtube viewers that you know started following me in this journey because when i started this platform i introduced myself as holiday the exotic dancer here in los angeles and i even started you know telling stories about me at the strip club my first video was about how my sister and my mom went to my first strip club audition and then i followed that video up with how i took my boyfriend to the strip club on a first date that's how he found out that I was a stripper because I took him to my home club. And of course, I followed that up with like videos regarding about gossip, what happens behind the, you know, behind the scenes and the locker room, all that good shit. But I don't want to be known just for that. I don't want to be known as Holiday the Stripper because I am more than that. Now, before I get into the, you know, A, B, and C, um, why I stopped being a stripper, I just want to get into the story of like, what the fuck happened on the last day of me being a dancer at the club. When I went to the club on the Saturday, it was like in August, I was really excited because Saturdays is when I make the most money. And so I went to the club on a Saturday and I was feeling really good about myself. I was really excited and I was even more excited because when I, you know, took a look into, you know, what the club looked like, the entire club was like full of guys, okay? It was full of fucking guys just staring at the fucking stage. And like, literally, I was spending the first three hours of my shift literally talking to every single dude at the club. And of course, you know, like, I didn't went up to just like every guy and be like, hey, do you want to laugh this? Hey, do you want to laugh dance? No, bitch, that's not how the club works. I literally was going to every single guy, you know, introducing myself, build report, start a conversation with them and then of course when you know the tension was a little bit you know like when the connection started being like a little intense i was like hey let's go to you know let's go get a laugh dance hey like you know i really want you to come you know to the vip room with me and every single fucking guy that i talked to like literally wanted nothing to do with me they were always be like oh no no thank you 
no, no, thank you. Literally, the last guy that I talked to, and he was just like, oh my god, like, holiday, like, you're so beautiful. Like, I love your stage. You dance so well. And, like, literally when he said that, I was just like, oh, like, hey, like, thank you so much. You know, like, maybe I can dance for you, like, you know, back in the room. And literally, like, before I can, like, even finish my sentence, the guy literally just, like, stood up, walked off, and, like, went to this random girl. And, like, within seconds, he, like, left to go get a fucking like dance from her and I was just like what the fuck like are you serious I've been dancing for three years okay I, I'm gonna keep repeating the same shit over and over again I've been dancing for three years that I know well enough like I know that there's gonna be terrible fucking nights at the club I know that there's gonna be nights and where like I'm not even gonna fucking make like my fucking house fee, okay? Like I know those nights. But for some fucking reason, this rejection that was happening that night hit me a little bit harder than it would usually would. Like it was hitting me so hard. And I'm going to tell you something, like, it was just a terrible night in general because, like, I was talking to so many girls. So I was like, yo, girl, like, I can't fucking make a dance. This guy doesn't, like, is bugging me, but he doesn't want to get a VIP room with me. And, like, all the girls were like, yeah, like, holiday, don't, like, don't take it so personal. Like, everybody's having a terrible night. But, like, for me, like, I literally was not taking this rejection so well that there come a point and we're like, I, I just started getting really pissed off because I don't fucking deserve it. And of course, I'm not going to go into detail about the interactions that I was having with all the fucking girls because I like to think of myself as like a very friendly person. And not only am I friendly, but I'm very like caring. Like, I cannot tell you how many girls have I talked to and I have given them advice and I have motivated them and I have, you know, taken the time out of my fucking work schedule to, like, make them feel better about themselves. And this was the one night in where, like, I was, like, losing my fucking shit. And, like, instead of these girls, they were just acting like fucking little girls. Like, literally, they're, like... They're acting like their age. They're acting 20, 21 years old. And they're like not taking me serious. They're like not validating my feelings. If anything, they were like, oh my God, holiday, how can you not be making money? Like, I don't get it. Like, how do you not be making money? Girl, you need to keep trying. You need to keep trying. And it's just like, no, girl. Like, it's a little bit deeper than that. And that's something that like, I would expect you to understand because you've been there and I've helped you understand that I'm having like multiple like dilemmas right like this Saturday fucking night mind you it hasn't even been my third hour yet it hasn't even been midnight yet and I'm being pissed off of all of the guys that were there outside you know that were not fucking like budging in you know to like buy me a lap dance and at the same time I had like these girls who were just so fucking annoying like they were annoying to me at this point and I literally just snapped I was just like looking at myself and I was like dude like what the fuck are you doing here you do not need this fucking shit anymore and literally I'm not even going to fucking lie to you. I'm pretty sure I rubbed off pretty bad on a couple of girls because I remember, I remember this one particular girl that I literally went up to and she was, I was like, dude, I'm having such a terrible night. And she's like, it's okay, holiday, don't worry. Like, it's going to be okay. And I literally told her like, you know what, dude, like, I'm not coming back anymore. I'm not, like, I don't fucking need this anymore. Like, this is so fucking degrading. And she was just like, Holiday, like, every girl is too good for this job. Like, it don't think it's just you. Like, no girl doesn't deserve this type of job. 
And I looked at her and I was just like, no girl, you don't understand. I don't need this anymore. And I'm pretty sure like it pissed her off because I'm pretty sure she was like thinking to herself like, what the fuck does this bitch think she is, you know? At that very moment, I didn't care about anybody's feelings. I only care about myself. And so I literally like walked to the fucking manager's office and I literally looked at my manager and I was like, Ed, I want to go home. And he was just like, holiday, please. Like, if I let you go home, like, you're going to be the fourth dancer going home. And I need dancers on my, like, on my floor. Dude, there's like over 20 fucking dancers. You don't need me. And I literally like stood my like my fucking foot. Like I was just like, you know what, Ed? I don't feel good. I want to go home. I don't want to be here. And he was like, all right, Holiday. If I let you go, I just want you to understand that there's going to be consequences. Ed, you don't need to tell me that there's going to be consequences, okay? Because I don't plan to come back here anymore. And so I did. I literally left that club just being so disappointed i was not disappointed in like the night i was just disappointed with like the whole situation that was going on in a way i was disappointed with the supposedly friends that i had at the club who were not being empathetic who didn't really took the time to like talk to me to understand what was what was I going through I was just disappointed like even at myself at one point because I was just like holiday like what the fuck are you doing here and so I literally just rode fucking like I literally drove my car crying and I was just like I am not coming to the club anymore now let's get into the like the real reasons the in-depth like reasons oh what the fuck what was going on in my head when that terrible night fucking happened number one um i don't need the industry anymore and um when i entered the industry i didn't went in because i needed the money because i didn't have a job I literally joined the industry because I was just fucking curious. That is it. But then when I decided to quit my day job and I wanted to pursue my college education, that's when I started needing the club. And because that was it. That was the only type of job that I was able to work two to three times out of the week and make more than enough money, not just for my rent, but also for living expenses and for extra stuff. And so there was a time while I was dancing at the club that I needed the club. But then one like graduation started coming a lot sooner than I expected. And then I started, you know, looking for other jobs that were in my field. I started start realizing that like I didn't need the club anymore because I was already accomplishing my goals. Like I have already accomplished my goals. One of those fucking goals was that I fucking was able to finish college. And that's something that a lot of people can't really say, especially in this time of age and especially in my industry. Like, you don't know how many fucking girls at the club will go over there and they'll be like, oh yeah, like I'm in community college. And then three, four, five years happen and then they end up fucking dropping out. Like, it's cute to say that you're in college, but then like when you really get to like talk to them and like, you know, trying to like see like what their end goal is they're just going to college just to say that they're going to college but guess what i end up actually fucking graduating and because i was able to fucking like graduate from college i was like looking for other jobs like out like in my field and if you guys watched my last video about like how i got into a car accident you guys know that i end up getting really involved with my fucking job and when I started experiencing like real life shit like out there in the field, I was starting to come to a realization and we're like, 
I can and we're like I started coming into a realization and we're like hey I have this job and this type of job like no matter how stressed I am I'm contributing something back into the community and I'm constantly like being challenged and even though it's so fucking stressful like I'm actually doing something with my fucking life unlike in the fucking club and we're like I feel like when it's terrible, I feel like I'm wasting my life. Like, I don't know, it's just really weird. It felt really good to like just even tell people like when I would like hang out with other people and I would introduce myself, it felt really good to like tell people like, oh yeah, like I work as a behavioral tech. Like that sense of fulfillment and like that like validation that I was getting from, from fucking strangers, like, oh shit, you're a behavioral tech. It felt so much more better to like, get that type of reaction than having to like not like lie but like i would like avoid the question right like introduce myself to people and they would ask me oh what do you do for a living i was i always felt kind of weird to tell people like oh like i'm a dancer you know in the beginning it was fun and all but then when i started having a boyfriend and you know they're seeing me with warren all the fucking time it started to felt kind of weird because even warren was all like like i i just don't want you to introduce yourself like that because you're marginalizing yourself and so that's why i was just like oh yeah i don't want this anymore some things for sure like the club has taught me so many things the club has taught me how to take care of myself how to close sales, how to build report, letting you know that I'm one of the most confident people out there. Like I'm not scared to put myself out there. I'm not scared to talk to strangers. I'm not scared of being myself. Like I have like social skills that like no fucking bitch can have. Like I'm telling you, like these are things that I learned from the club, but I want to use those skills into like more productive things and like i you know it's just like you can take those skills anywhere bitch like what the fuck and then now speaking about like jobs and like titles and money i'm not gonna lie to you like three years ago like when i went to the club like when i entered the industry i was making like so much money so much money and now like the club is not like what it used to be at all if anything, I feel like social media entertainers such as like Cardi B and like Black China have made the industry so mainstream that like not everybody and their fucking mom wants to be a fucking like a fucking stripper. Like everyone and their mom wants to be an Instagram hoe. And because the money was drying up, I'm not gonna lie, like my club that I took so much pride in, like literally there was girls who were literally doing the most for like pocket change and so i quit the club at the in the beginning i was just like really like kind of sad because i always wanted to leave like look i'm not gonna lie when i planned my retirement i was like okay i'm going to retire when i have a bunch of money saved up when i accomplish this and this and this and that and i buy this and this and this and that that's when i'm gonna fucking retire from the club but honestly i'm just really happy that i literally quit like that same fucking day because ever since i quit the club i feel like so much more happier because number one like I have the weekends to myself right now. Number two, like, I'm getting to do the things that I've always wanted to do. I'm doing YouTube now. And number three, I'm having, like, a transition now. And we're, like, I'm becoming, like, my final form of self. Like, I'm starting to become, like, holiday. I'm an adult. And I don't want to be that stripper who's, like, in her 30s and, like, <laughs> She's still partying. She's still like, it's just like, it's just not a good look. For sure, it's just like, I don't want anything to do with the club. And the reason why is because like, 
I'm ready to move on. Like, there's no more to me than my fake titties and my, you know, my big ass and my pork and my plastic shoes. Like, I went to college. I graduated with a degree in psychology. I'm a girlfriend. I'm, you know, the oldest sister of five kids. Um, I was a behavioral technician and right now I'm part of corporate and there's just so many fucking things that make me me and I don't want to marginalize myself because I'm part of an industry that is both to toxic and it's fucking dying. I fucking quit the club because I was just sick and tired of it because I was starting to like, it was just starting to make me unhappy. It was just like, I just don't want anything to do with it. And so I just want you to understand. I just want you to know that it just because you're just have invested so much time and emotions to a particular thing or to a particular project or to a particular person, it doesn't mean that all that shit is like, lost no bitch just if it's making you unhappy like just roll it around and like just uh, throw it away like it's okay to close the doors it's okay to say goodbye to things and to people and that is what i did with that job title with that job description i literally just picked up my bag and i left and i am going through a new transition and you can do that too so anyways, if you have any questions or concerns regarding about why, you know, I can go into more details um, on your, my YouTube comments, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to tell my story times about the strip club because bitch, I got crazy stories about the fucking club. Okay. Like I almost got my ass kicked <laughs> for no fucking reason. Um, so if you guys like this video, make sure to like and comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure to me on my Instagram and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.